hello guys oh. oh my tv is gaslighting me anyway um i wanted to talk about energetic implants there's something that keeps coming up in my field in my reality whatever it keeps coming up and it really really resonates with me um reason being is this now in the great scheme of things, you'd think, right, that if there was, um, if our true self, the great mother, whatever, is that powerful, it could literally just reach down, save us all from this hellish torture that we experience in this reality and make everything all right, just like that. But that doesn't happen because it's not meant to happen. So this is going to be a bit of a ramble, guys. So bear with me because I do try to get to the point, but I tend to, you know, go a bit like, like that, you know. Um, so just just bear with me. Or not, <laughs> if you don't feel like it. And if you're there going, yeah, yeah. Poof, you know, that's fair enough too. Um, in fact, that brings that, that brings to mind a funny, a funny little... Um, thing i i used to have this acquaintance this woman that used to come around for um you know we, we were both learning how to knit at the time all right so she's come around and this these this was in the days when i still felt like hitting everybody with the truth stick 9 11 was an inside job and I swear to fucking God, guys, every time I started talking about 9-11 or about anything pertaining to what is actually going on in this realm, she would fall asleep. She would just literally arise would just go and she would just... And it was like, wow. That was my first kind of... Um, my first foray in organic portal territory. Anyway, just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> Um, right, so so here we are, we're having this experience, right? We've been going through our lives, we haven't really been awake, but we have been awakening from birth. Uh, uh, somebody left a fantastic comment, um, which let me see, you know who you are, actually you know who you are. You said that, um, yes, we have been depressed all our lives. We have been awakening from birth onwards. This is very true, I feel, and I think this is very true for all soul travelers, one way or another. So we have been here and we, we come into this realm. We are acutely um, present, acutely alive, very real, raw, visceral, whatever. We don't fit in, la la la, shit happens. Just like I said yesterday in my video. Um, we develop this shadow side, all the trauma, all the mind control, which in, in part consists of these energetic implants. Now, I've had a vision of these things. And they're a bit like, you know, in um, Aliens, you get these, right? They're, they look a bit like that, but they seem somewhat metallic looking. And I have one here, I have one here, I have one here on my heart chakra, bloody hell. And a lot of them I've, I've since removed, but every time I go into myself energetically and remove one, it's followed by months of purging. So it isn't a quick and simple fix, removing these things um, at all. But once you do, yeah, you go through a purging process because it, it is a block. It's there to keep trauma, PTSD, poison trapped in your energetic system so that it keeps controlling you. It keeps making you think a certain way, making you feel a certain way, making you stay trapped in the whole fear I am powerless, I'm a victim paradigm, dysfunctional behavior, addictive behavior. That's why so many people find it impossible to get out of all of that. But once you remove these implants, all of a sudden the flow is back and all the shit that has been repressed by these implants then comes up. So rather than feeling better straight away, you actually feel like absolute shit straight away. <laughs> it's like a Herxheimer reaction, it's a good thing, but there we are. 
so to get back to where I was so here we are going through this and all the trauma and all the victimy shit and like well you know if there was good and love and light and whatnot in this world then it would just come and save me and stop all this misery for me but you know I've said it before and I'll say it again this is not um this is not a scenario where we've been put here against our will and it's just happening to us and there's nothing we can do and we're just waiting for something external to come and save us. That's not what this is about. This, I still feel with all my heart that we chose to come here to have this experience. That we are fully up to the job regardless of how fucking dire it feels at the moment. And probably has done, let's face it, for many years but it's darker now than I've ever felt it. Hence my last few videos have been, yes, on the dark side. But then again, I did say it again, I'll say it again, like this, this is a channel, uh, I hope, of, of as much integrity as I can muster, um, talking about my own process and, and, and where I'm at. That's where I was at yesterday, this is where I'm at today. And, and it's saying to all of you guys that, you know what, we are multifaceted beings. There are going to be days where we feel like absolute shit and we'll want to discuss that. We'll want to bring that out. We'll want to purge it. We'll want to vomit it up. We'll want to do a video about it. And when we do, we show other people that, hey, it's okay to feel like shit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So... What, what I feel is happening, it, it's interesting, years ago um, I was a real mess and I thought that by doing, by educating, doing all these courses to educate myself, I became a teacher of English as a foreign language and so um, I did counselling courses and I did this and I did that, I thought that would somehow make me better or I used to think that, oh well, if only I had loads of money, or if only I had this, or if only I looked like Bo Derek, everything would work out and everything would be better. So then, some of these things did happen, and guess what? I was just as fucking traumatized and wounded and fucked up as I was before. It didn't fix anything, it didn't really change anything. Because... The implants, the trauma was still there, still stuck, still trapped, still being repressed within me, still running the proverbial show. See? Anybody coming in here to rescue us would be a complete and utter waste of time. It is up to us. We came here to go through this, to experience this, all this, we're totally powerless and fucked up and we had an evil always wins, to haha, I'm a powerful being, that is bullshit, I'm not believing that anymore, I'm taking back my power, moving through this eye of the needle, going to stand in my goddamn light, not going to worry about everything anymore, I can let that go now, oh I feel really like shit but I can let that go now, you need to be afraid all the time otherwise you won't be safe, I can let that go now, you're really ugly shit and stupid and you're gonna die, I'm gonna let that go now, let go, let go, let go, I love myself, I'm a powerful creative being, I feel myself, I'm going to love myself regardless of what is happening. That's a very important element of it all and a very important choice that we can some of us anyway, make here and now. Those of you who still can't really do that, you will be able to do it. It will happen. You'll get there. I know you will. Believe me. So an important part of getting to that point though is the removal of these energetic implants. Now about two years ago I had my first vision of these of these things I'd read about energetic implants but I'd forgotten all about them and then I had a dream um, and I saw these kind of like I said like these these creatures that that you see in alien they look very similar with little hooks that that literally hook into you but they look somewhat shiny metallic that's how it came across to me and I could go in there with my own energy my energy would be kind of like a very bright electric blue and just literally blast those fuckers. There are people that can help you with that perhaps as well. For me, I did it myself. 
Um, I can't tell you how to do it because it's something that once you become aware of your own energetic implants, it you will be shown, no doubt, you will be shown the way to uh, remove those for yourself and you will do it in a different way than I do because we're all individuals, right? Um, I blasted these fuckers and disintegrated them and went through months of purging all the repressed turgid poison that they had kept stuck there. Um, that is most definitely in a, in a really big way part of this quest is to is to eliminate all those energetic Im implants, you know? Um, they're put there through trauma-based um, mind control programming. It's, 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 it's what they do, you know? Um, and it's obviously on a, on a multi-dimensional level, you know, there's so many players in this in this game, you know, in this reality. There's so many different factions and so many different players. Um, it's it's difficult to know who is actually responsible, but I'm not so sure that's important right now. What is important is that we are powerful creator beings. We can totally um, search and destroy these things. I know this for a fact because I've done it. I had one that was here, there was one here, there was one here. Um, I think there were three that I've, I've identified and eliminated and got rid of so far, but there, 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 has, there have been other smaller ones within me as well as on the outer layers of me. Um, what I find, and, and I've talked about this before, I've talked about catalysts. I call them catalysts, other people call them triggers. I think triggers is a word more widely used and understood by people. So shit happens. People will come into your field that will fucking verbally abuse you, take the piss or trolls on YouTube or your, something will happen to your health or to your money or to your job or to, to your family, whatever it is, we're triggered on a daily basis by shit that literally brings up trauma. It, it, it's as if these triggers in a way target Maybe not the, the implants so much, I don't quite know, but that is the way we're healing. I know that for a fact now. I've, 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 I've had a really deep sense of that on, a, on an entirely new level. That healing is not about everything is going, everything works out for you now, even though you're still full of implants, even though you're still full of repressed trauma running the show. That would never work. That's not what this quest is, how it works, no. We literally are our own healers and our own saviors and we literally can and do work through all of this. So there's these catalysts that trigger stuff and boom, it comes up and we, we hate and we rage and we have all this shit going on and blah, blah, purge, 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 alchemize, alchemize, alchemize. This is why these new agey people never get anywhere and this is why they're so toxic because they are full of etheric implants, they're full of crap and full of trauma and full of PTSD that they don't want to look at. Us, the soul travellers, we do look at it, we do process it, we do alchemize it, we do compost it, we do purge it and clear it out. We do that. That is what we do, that is what we do, that's part of the quest. And another part of the quest is to, to, to search and destroy those, those implants. And then to allow all that to come up and out and up and out and up and out. And, and actually the purging, yes, we do purge, but somehow all this energy is used. It is just energy, ultimately. It can be used for good and it can be used for bad. So we can take all that dark, heavy, dense, turgid energy, clear it, cleanse it, transform it, and use it for our own good, for our own power, for our own, you know, purposes. Because, yes, 
dark days, people. Dark, dark fucking days. Definitely. The war is on. The battle is waging. You know, this is kind of like the World War Three for the soul, isn't it? But we won't lose. That's just it, people. We were, we're never... In a sense, you could say this has already happened. All of this has already happened. We always win. We always win. We just always win. It's like it gets so dark that you think all is lost. And it is in that moment, in that precise moment, that somehow, some fucking how, and I do find this miraculous, that somehow, in the darkest, darkest moment, the total rock bottom moment, that it, it comes to you that, hey, you know what? I don't have to do that anymore. I'm just gonna stand in my light and fuck it. Fuck the consequences. It may work out, it may not, but I'm gonna do it anyway, defiantly, somehow. Because you've been in the torture chamber for so, so long expecting somebody to come and save you, and you finally realize that ain't gonna happen. That if you keep doing this, you'll be in that torture chamber forever and ever and ever. Literally allowing yourself to be brutalized and brutalizing yourself. All oh, the worst case scenario, this is going to happen, that's going to happen, it's never going to be alright, I hate myself, everything is shit, I'm so powerless, I'm a victim, I'll only be okay if this happens and I'll only be happy if that happens. I'll only be happy if somebody comes me, comes now and, and saves me and makes everything okay, then I can be happy. And actually no, because you'll still be full of trauma. So, stop fucking about in the torture chamber and step into your light and say, you know what, I don't have to punish myself. Yes, the dark generator is there attacking my shadow, my wounded self, telling it all kinds of fucking lies. And by the way, if you think about it and backtrack on that a little bit, you'll work out that actually it lies all the fucking time. It's absolutely and utterly full of fucking shit. Fucking Jimmy again. Shut the fuck up, Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, so, you don't have to believe it. It comes... These horrible thoughts come and they cause feelings that are equally horrible. And yet, when you're ready, you can let that go. I can do that. Believe me, I am worried sick about my hair falling out. It seems to have stopped a little bit, but you know, it made me feel really, really, really shit. Really scared. And there's a shitload of other problems in my life that I'm really worried about. Yet, somehow, this, this part of me, yes, it's oh, oh, oh. And this part's going, no, 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 hey. We can let it go. I have no control over what is going to happen. I've no control over that whatsoever. I've no control over the past. I know what's happened. I know what I've allowed to happen. I know what my experiences have been. I know the darkness. Hello darkness, my old friend. It's actually taught me a shitload as well, people, you know. I've learned a hell of a lot from the darkness. It's been a good teacher. So I can say, hey, thank you, darkness, for showing me so much. You know, people, as it pertains to our trueness, our true being, we ain't seen nothing yet. We've lived in the world in such a way, it's on such a number on us that we don't even see ourselves. <laughs> that is going to change as well. We're going to see how magnificent we fucking are. And that's going to be a shocking, a shocking sensation of like, oh, I didn't realise I was really that fucking fabulous. <laughs> Hello. All right. Um, like I said, a bit of a ramble, but it, it is the choice, the choice, the choice. It is the be all and end all. It is the alpha, the omega, it is the linchpin, it's the, the, the epicenter of it all. It's interesting. You see, two years back I was sat in the car, in a car park, thinking about how to manifest a better experience, a better world, a better me, whatever. And I was given a vision 
about how it's all about a reset of consciousness, a healing of consciousness. And at the time, I thought that was going to happen really quickly, you know, a couple of months at, at most. And yeah, hey, okay then. <laughs> but I've, so I've since then awoken, 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 because that is what happens. Catalysts, triggers, shit happens. That makes you go really totally into the darkness of your own being. Really brings it up, really shows you what you believe, what you think, where you're at in terms of your shadow. It shows you undeniably the truth of the trauma, the mind control, the insanity in here, out there, one thing, one and the same, shows you all of that. You have to know all of that. You have to know it because how can you heal something that you don't even know is, is, is sick, yeah? Um, so that happens and you see the world more and more and more to the point where you're so painfully awake it is a harsh fucking reality, yes it is. But it, again, it has to be happened for how can we reset, heal the world if we don't see what has been done to it. It's not the world that's evil, it's what's been done to it that's evil. You see, mundane reality programming, that is the overlay, that is the hijack. You see, we've been taught this is the way life, life has to be. We have to have these asphalt roads everywhere. We have to have this grid formation living everywhere. We have to have these NPCs flowing into our world, bulking up the population. Because I want to just make this point, people, but it seems that all of a sudden we have 8 billion uh, people on this planet, right? That's the, 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 the world population is, is, is 8 billion, according to the scientists. But that doesn't even make any sense. Right, back in the Victorian days, Edwardian days and before that, people used to habitually have shitloads of children. People used to breed like rabbits. Now, people don't breed like rabbits. In fact, people are not really having many children. There's a lot of people, like in Japan, who choose not to have any children at all. But globally speaking, people are not reproducing much at all. They may do in some places, the poor in Africa, India, places like that. Yes, they do, but still, the world population should actually be a lot less, a lot less than it used to be, a lot less, but it isn't. And other people have also noticed how their little insignificant towns are literally bulking up with people and it's like, well, how, how is this happening? Because there are no opportunities here, or rather, there never used to be any opportunities. Young people used to have to leave the town and go to the cities to get jobs. <laughs> but now, all of a sudden, we have all these really empty-feeling people with their, their Truman Show-esque lives. You know, we have all the bowling alleys, we have all the pizza outlets, we have all the fucking Costa coffees. Uh, Starbucks coffees, you know, it's it's like a, a corporate airport lounge world that we live in now, which is what the NPCs love. All these big cinema complexes. They've just built another massive cinema complex in, in Plymouth and it's a, a giant black cube. It looks like the car bar in, in Mecca, only massive, and it exudes evil dark energy, man. It's like, whoa, like, <clears throat> like, you know, next time I go anywhere near there, I have to wear my garlic and my cross. But, yeah, why, why is that happening? Um, I say this, I say that it's because our consciousness is powerful and because we are on the brink of going through the eye of the needle or because we are, some of us, going through the eye of the needle and when we come out of that, we are going to be fucking powerful. Evil, sensing this, is going to put up a fight, so it's going to pump all these empty vessels into the world that it can inhabit, walk-ins, right? These, these, these NPCs can be, can be inhabited by entities and used, you see, hence Tories won the election, because there's absolutely no way, I mean, if all those people were sold up in the north, those socialists, they would never have voted for the Tories. But clearly, if you have NPCs, you can just go in there, if you're a dark entity and you want to affect a certain outcome, you go in there and you vote Tory. 
that's just a silly example, but all the same, you get what I'm saying. Evil will not just give up. It's, it's really going to make us work very, very hard for our victory. But our victory will be... It will be. Our triumph shall be. Provided that we do not give up. Provided that we choose to stand in the power of our light. For it is in us. I'm not talking about having faith in God or anything external at all. I'm talking about having faith in yourself. We have only known powerless victimhood and self-punishment and self-hate and all that crap. But we're coming out of that paradigm. And getting rid of these implants is very, very important. because It's crucial because they are what keep us trapped. Um, this works for differently for different people and I always counsel people to go with our own intuition with regards to anything, right? For you, you may use different terminology and have a different vision, a different idea of the same uh, concept and deal with it differently. And uh, that's great, that's wonderful. Do it your own way, right? Um, but for those of you who are a bit confused about this topic, I will refer you to a good website. Again, just extract the pearls, don't take everything on as facts. Um, let's have a look. Because I haven't got the time or the energy <laughs> to explain it all. And this lady does a really good job at doing just that. For those of you who are friends with me on Facebook, oh, it's gone. Why is that? That's interesting. <sighs> so I posted it on Facebook and it's gone. That is fucking interesting, is that? Wow. <laughs> okay. Something doesn't like me doing that. That's okay. I will find it anyway. Energetic synthesis, right? Now, I will see about um, copying, copying that piece that she's written about alien implants. She calls it alien implants, um, crucifixion implants, sexual mind control implants, holographic inserts, alien implantation, whatever. And like I said, okay, Tracking important releases of AI implants. There's all kinds of stuff there. Some of it may resonate, some of it might not. None of it might resonate. But either way, I will post it in the drop box below if I can. But should that not work somehow, then the, the website is called Energetic Synthesis. Um, I will write those words down in the drop box below. And then you guys can, can go check that out. It's, it's actually quite a good website. I don't agree with everything she says at all, but there's some really bloody good information there. Because getting rid of energetic um, implants is very important. It really, really is. It's it's how if they, they keep us trapped in this perpetual cycle of negativity and fear that it's that we cannot seem to, to, to see through. This, this thing that says, well, you can't step into the light because if you do that, bad things are going to happen. There is a terrible, terrible fear there that if we step into the light of our own power and stop hurting ourselves with this constant negativity and expectation of, of, of more trauma, that if we do that, that we step into the light, we'll be punished or bad things will happen. Don't tempt fate. Look around you at, at the world and, and all the people are doing that. They're perpetually stuck in a worrying, expecting all the worst type of shit. That is energetic imprint thing going on there. Um, and it's very, very hard because, yeah, so that work is important. And the reason I'm talking about it today is because I feel strongly guided to do so. So I think this work is going to commend for a lot of you now and that's good news. Um, is there anything else? Mm. 
yeah, it just everything is picking up a pace, people. Everything is picking up a pace, and we are very, very stretched and going through a lot. But I feel a profound sense of meaning, of meaning, meaning, meaningfulness. Um, and I'm just not going to give up. And there will be days where, yes, it feels really, really hopeless and really, really dark. And there will be days where it will feel really, really hopeful and really, really powerful and really, really meaningful. And then you have everything in between. Um, every journey starts with a single step. And this, this quest is very much like that story of the tortoise and the hare, right? We are the tortoise people, step by step. It takes great determination, it takes great courage, and it takes great commitment to our true self, to ourself, to our journey. It just does. And we have all of that. But we have to choose to use these tools that we have. If we continually choose to stay in the torture chamber, then that ain't gonna happen. It's very perverse, it's very addictive, I know. But sooner or later you will make that choice, you will. There's a great deal of resistance and that again is the implants. No, 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 don't step into your light. And there is a fear of our own power as well. Because it's there saying, oh no, that's just ego. You're not powerful. To think you're powerful means you're being egotistical. You know, you're being arrogant. Just like it says that to love yourself means that's narcissism. No, it isn't. <laughs> or not, or to have boundaries, that's just being selfish. You know what I mean, right? It's all bullshit. It's good to have boundaries, it's good to love yourself, and it's good to know that you're fucking powerful. Even though you don't experience all of this, like being powerful, you don't really experience that much of that. But you are powerful. Commit to that. To commit to 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 finding all the treasures within you and bringing them up into the light and finding out how incredible you are that is what i'm committed to i want to really get to know myself in my true splendor and my true power yeah so that's where i'm at really and um anyway i think i'll call it a day there because i've been blathering on <laughs> hmm. all my love to you guys and um, have a good weekend I'll probably see you again tomorrow or the day after but nevertheless and um, for those of you really going through it and finding it really really hard just keep doing the work know that you're healing that's what this is all about have a rant have a scream have a good cry crying is really helpful to release loads and loads of stuff because behind all the hate and all the rage and all the the vengefulness if you feel that or whatever you're feeling behind all of that lies the grief the woundedness the grief you see so if you find that you're crying a shitload then you're tapping into the grief that is always a good thing that means that you've you've worked for a lot of the rage and the hate and the vengeance and you're getting at the nitty-gritty of it which is the grief so feel that be with that you know honor that honor yourself you're beautiful